Active at Undelete is for anyone seeking to retrieve data from systems native to Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Active at Undelete allows the user to retrieve data from live volumes, deleted partitions, and much more. Data can be retrieved from hard drives, USB devices, and even SD cards from digital cameras. In my scenario, I have a variety of files on two USB devices. To get started, I will select my live volume titled Me First and scan it by selecting Scan at the top of the screen. When you scan a volume, you have the option to save your scan results for later use. To do this, make sure the Save Scan Results as Scan Completes is selected. Then, either take note of the save destination or change the save destination by clicking on the three dots to the right of the file location bar. You can also choose to add another live volume to this scan. Let's add the volume Recover Me to our scan. Now that I'm ready, I will click on Scan. When our scan is complete, each volume result will display in its own tab. In the tabs, you will see a list of files found by Active at Undelete. The files that are grayed out are the files found on my drive that have been deleted. I may choose to organize these files by using the Organize Files drop-down. I can organize my files using a variety of options including Creation Date, Modify Date, and Extension. I can also customize how I want to organize my results. To recover files, I may select to recover all files on the drive, or I can select individual files to be recovered by using their signatures. Active at Undelete can recognize more than 26 different file signatures. Let's start with an image file. I have an image file called apple-footnote.png. I accidentally deleted this file and now I need it back. Before I begin, I will select the file and across the top of the screen I will click File Preview. This will open the file in a pop-up window, allowing me to make sure I have the correct file. If I click on the small icon in the upper left hand corner, I can also see the file partitions and the file signature. Let's close this. With that same file selected, across the top I will click Recover. This new window allows me to select a recovery destination. Then I can decide how I want to recover the file to be named. I may use the default, which is use the original file names, or I may select to rename the file using patterns or file type rules. Then I can decide what I want to do when there's a naming conflict between the file being recovered and existing files in the recovery destination. I will select to generate a unique file name. Finally, we have other options such as create original folder structure, browse the destination on complete, and log creation. To continue, I will click Recover, and in my Destination folder, I see my recovered file. I also see that it has been renamed since there was already an existing file with the name apple-footnote.png. Let's look at another file type. This time, I will use my scan results from my drive titled Recover Me. In this drive, I see an audio file I deleted that I need for a project. Since I want to make sure it's the correct file, I can click on the file and select File Preview to listen to it. Or, I can double click the file name to access the preview window. Now I can listen to part of the audio file to make sure it's the correct one. Of course, I can also see the file sectors and file signature if I wanted to. Now that I have the correct file, I'm going to add it to File Organizer. The File Organizer will allow me to organize files from different sources and recover them all at once. Using the Organizer, I can rename and regroup these files as well. I can organize files by Modify Date, Creation Date, and more. With this file in the Reorganizer, let's select a different file from the Me First device. 
Let's select this PDF file and click Add to File Organizer. Now I can see I have two different files and two different file types I want to recover from two different sources. Recovering files from the file organizer is slightly different than recovering files from the scan results. The options we are given when recovering files from the scan results can be found at the bottom of the file organizer window. This will include a naming location, naming conventions, and naming conflict resolution options. When all settings are how I want them, I will select Recover All at the top of the screen. Now I can see my recovered files in my selected destination. To learn more about Active and Undelete, please go to www.active-undelete.com.